back of the Code Wars because there is some news this morning that uh, Peter Volandis has come out and said that uh, teams will get um, salary cap exen exemptions uh, if they sign players from other sports including Rugby Union. What do you make of this news? And I know, Joey, you've actually worked out a, a loophole, loophole that could be exploited. But just generally, in, first off, what did you make of this news? I really don't know what... I, look, I, I understand it, but the loophole is if you've got a great 18, 19-year-old young player coming through, especially a half or one of those key positions, you send him to Union for a year and they come back and poach him back to Rugby League, and if there's salary cap dispensation, then they probably get double more mm. than what they would have got previous year. But, mate, there's no threat. Playing house won't go to rugby. I see the chase of Nathan Cleary. Laughable. Why would he want to go and play rugby union? He touched the ball three times. Mate, what's his, who's the boss, whatever his name is? Everything I see, he goes, oh, come to union, you're going to see the world. Mate... If you want to see the world, I'll pay for a Kentucky tour. You'll have more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Payne has to go over. He run the ball three times. Do you ever think that, uh, say, a player like Nathan Cleary, so he's signed until 2027, if he's achieved everything in the game, he's won state of origins, he's well, won... Get him on the phone, Freddie. Go ring him up. Do you ever think that they'd be <laughs> tempted? No. Well, yeah. I was tempted for a while. I didn't know what I was thinking. It's just another stage of my life. It was, where's your head at? But what's no, the why? temptation? To go and... Go and see the yourself. world, Bill. <laughs> get to see the world. That's, that's not a realistic motivation to go to rugby. What's the temptation to go there? You, you've got to love the game. If you, if you love the game, you want to go and explore that, well, go and do it. Mm -hmm. The money's not going to turn you. It's not, it surely can't be a money thing. There's money's really good in our game. Mm. So I, I, I don't know. Our product is the best it's ever been. It's a great entertainment product. It's a great product to play. Um... I don't know why we would need to have dispensations on salary cap to keep players here or get other players. It's, I think it's more of a media thing. Why would you want to play in Cape Town or Paris when you can play in Penrith? <laughs> <laughs> you can go to Cape Town and Paris at the end of the year. I have. In the off-season. <laughs> I have. I'll tell you stories about it later. <laughs> Um, what about uh, Roger Tuivasa? Check the news that he is now coming back to rugby league. Yeah, it's great news. I actually haven't seen... I haven't seen Roger play rugby union. I'm sure he was good at it. Like he's such a, he's such a brilliant athlete. It'd be interesting if he, um, with Chance Neil Clocks to play fullback, if he comes back and plays fullback and then Chance moves or he goes and uh, goes into the centres. But by the way, he'll be great. Um, he'll you know. play, he'll has play to play fullback. He'll play fullback. Mm. Has to. He's a Delian medalist, Golden Boot winner. He's he's got to wear the number one. I think they say he's put on a bit of size, like you know, playing number twelve. You sort of you're in, into a bit of contact there mm. in rugby union, so it won't be interesting how he comes back. He'll have full off season. Yeah. yeah. Well, he'll go and play. Well, apparently he'll go and play uh, for the All Blacks in in France um, for the World Cup, and then maybe come after that if he makes. And he was as he was as fit as anyone when he left. Mm. Like he was a player that would his work rate was really high. So I couldn't imagine. I, I'd assume that would be natural for him. I am interested how the current rugby union players feel about all the talk and. Um, you know, when they talk about... Well, they've committed When their they whole talk life. about their aspirations for the game, all they want to talk about is picking rugby league players mm. at the moment. Maybe that's just because that gets the air time and rugby union isn't getting much air time at the moment. But I'd be, I'd, I don't know how I'd feel if I was a rugby union player at the moment. And you've played your whole life. I do. Yeah. I know how I'd feel. How would you feel? I'd feel pretty disappointed. If you're one of the leading rugby union players and they're, they're poaching teenagers and paying them a lot more money than you're on you'd feel a little bit hard done by, mm. for sure, without well, doubt. The Code Wars, they're certainly heating up. Code Wars. Code Wars. Um, <laughs> they, um, yeah, the they're heating up and I think sure. they're... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> You're looking for a job at Stan, aren't you? <laughs> 60 minutes style. <laughs>